Hey y'all, it's Nick from Undefeated Productions, and welcome back to another video. And this one, we'll be talking about the trade that sent Josh Hader from the Brewers to the Padres in a very surprising trade by the Milwaukee Brewers. And of course, San Diego gets even, even better. Before we get started, as always, hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below who you think is traded, the Brewers win or the Padres win. Let's have a discussion down below. All right, Josh Hader this year is, is pitched 30 in 37 games, 29 saves, 34 innings pitched, 59 strikeouts, a 1.118 whip with a 4-2-4 ERA. Of course, in the last stretch of the year, very, very, very much been struggling, but a perennial all-star made it in uh, the, the last four years that have actually had an all-star game. Again, career-wise, 2-4-8 ERA, 316 innings pitched, 541 strikeouts, and a career .882 whip. I mean, we're talking about some absolutely phenomenal numbers here. And the return for Josh Hader, you know, he's one of the game's best closers. We got uh, Taylor Rogers, Denilson Lament, Robert Gasser, and Esturi Ruiz. The return for Josh Hader. We got Taylor Rogers. The, and, and funny enough... Josh Hader had the uh, most saves in uh, baseball, and Taylor Rogers had the second most trades in baseball. Taylor Rogers this year, stats are eerily similar to Hader. 4-3-5 ERA in 42 games, 41 in the third innings pitched, 48 strikeouts, a 1.113 whip. Career numbers, however, Taylor Rogers a little bit worse than Hader. 3-2-9 ERA, 356 innings, 409 strikeouts, a 1.146 ERA. But this year, they're eerily similar. And if you look at this for the Brewers, you know, they're capitalizing on Josh Hader and his value. They're getting a closer that this year has performed the same level. Now, for the career, you know, you're probably not going to keep Hader after this. He's going to want a lot of money. You're going to have to sp spread it to elsewhere. But you're getting Taylor Rogers back. Very, very solid closer, pitching the same tune as Hader. You're bringing in Denilson Lament. Now, granted, this year has struggled mightily out of the bullpen. But uh, you, you just turn back a few years to the uh, 2020 shortened year. 69 innings pitched, 2.09 ERA. Denilson Lamette, if he can figure it out in Milwaukee, he is going to be a very, very solid pitcher for them. And we're talking about Milwaukee, who has the likes of Corbin Burns and Brandon Woodruff. They know what they're doing with pitchers. They can probably fix him out. Now, also in this trade, uh, who are now the number eight and nine prospects in the Brewers organization, Robert Gasser, left-handed pitcher, 6'1", 185, 55 fastball, 55 slider, 55 changeup, control 50, overall of 50, as well as the number nine prospect, Estuary Ruiz, an outfielder, 6'1", 69, 45 hit, 45 power, 80 run, 45 arm, 50 field, overall 45. Now, the Padres, they deplete more of their organization in their push to win now. I mean, the Padres, they're going out here. And, you know, they're pushing everything they have forward. They are trying to win the World Series within the next three years, two years. They're, they're trying this year. So they're pushing forward. They're getting Hater. They got Soto. They got Bell. They got Brandon Drury. And they're trying to trade Will Myers. They traded Eric Cosmo already. They are making moves. AJ Preller is like, hey, this is our time. And, of course, they got Tatis. They got Machado. They got Cronenworth. They got a solid team, and they're going to keep pushing. But like always, let me know in the comments section below what you guys know. Uh, think about this trade. Hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, come back later for more videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.